So for today, we're going to be looking at the last call. Apologies that this video is later than usual, but today was just uh, annoying. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let's just look at what is leaving this week. So for this week, we're going to be looking at the scorned chess pieces for all the classes and the helmets to go with that from Forsaken and some class items as well. For the actual shaders, it's going to be Envious Touch. This is a pretty good shader, especially if you want to get that really cool texture on armor. We have Arctic Dreamscape. This is a really good shader if you're going for a snow tactical look, just because it doesn't look good with this, I promise you, but like with tactical looking stuff, it does look really cool. And then New Monarchy Allegiance, which is uh, not a great shader in my opinion. It's pretty terrible. Um, it's the orange, honestly. And that's pretty much it for Ada. As for Zer, it's gonna be the planetary armor from Mars. This is a pretty old armor set from Warmind, so definitely pick some of these up. I will have all of the classes up right now. A lot of these are really, really cool. The Warlock has this really cool researcher look. The Titans have this like juggernaut snow look and the Hunters have this like hunter in the snow look, which is really, really cool. Definitely pick some of these up because these are really cool, especially for the Titans. I would at least recommend um, all of them except the helmet and the in the mark. That's really it. Every other piece is a banger. The arms are super dope. The chest piece is super dope. And the boots are like one of my favorite boots in the game for Titans. Hunters, I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, the chest piece is cool. The mark is interesting considering it has like this really cool, like uh, it hides the front of your face a little bit. And the helmet's pretty cool. And the boots are decent. The arms are probably the piece that I'm like disappointed in the most. And the warlocks, I think all of it is really good. I would. I would recommend all of it if I'm being quite honest. As for the weapons themselves, we're going to be looking at Ikelos hand cannon with rapid and frenzy, which is pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, frenzy is terrible. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, people are going to fight me on that. It's just I don't like uh, a damage buff that I can't proc myself because being in combat, that could be a lot of things or it could or it could be like super far away. It just there's a lot of problems when it comes to frenzy for me. A full denial with threat detector and unrelenting, which is a uh, meh. We have thoughtless with overflow and adagio. I'm gonna skip that. Judgment of Kelgaroth, Pugilist, and Unstoppable Force. Distant Tumulus, uh, Left from Gold Outlaw, uh, Shattered Cyphers, Under Pressure, and Snapshot Sights, and Nine Hunger with Subsistence and Kill Multi Kill Clip. If this was Rampage, I think this would have been such a dub because Subsistence and Rampage is just so nasty together. Um, if you don't have a Nine Hunger, you might as well pick it up because it is really good. And then for the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with Rangefinder, which is... Wait, didn't Rangefinder get a nerf or is getting a nerf? I mean, do you fam, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Dead Man's Tail with Killing Wind. I'm going to skip that. And then we have Lucky Pants with... What the fuck is this spreadsheet, dog? Or not spreadsheet, but the spread on that is really good. 2020? Recovery and discipline. Hold on. I'm trying to see what mine is at because I kind of want to pick that up. Mine's a little bit better. Um, I'm still going to pick it up. Armamentarium with, you know, that's not bad. Um, Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Um, we'll put this away because I definitely want to pick that one up as well. And then I have another world, which is pretty terrible perks among, or the stats are pretty terrible. All right. Let's see what I get. Probably garbage as always, bro. If I get another, okay. I'm okay with that. Um, it went to my, yeah, it went to my thing. So let's actually reload dim. I'm not going to lie though, this armamentarium is going to be a lot of fun to use. All right, so actually not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll post it right now if you guys want to check it out. Like I'm actually not that mad about it. The perk or the, the yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I get 10 on intellect, strength, uh, recovery, resilience and mobility. I say recovery because I'm going to add a plus 10 up to that probably. And if not, it's, it's like a pseudo one because it'll go up to nine. And most of the time you'll get a one from that. Um, I don't know. This is a good starter one. Let me just say that. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I do apologize that this video is later than usual. It should have been up in like by the morning. So that way people have a little bit more time, but, uh, just, I fucked myself over by doing the dungeon a lot and just other things. So apologies, but this won't happen. Usually this shouldn't happen, but if it does, I do apologize. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Be safe. I will see you guys later.